Africa's traditional fighting extravaganza, the African Warriors Fighting Championship, the home of Dambi action is back on your screens. As always, I'm your host, the voice of the African Warriors Arena, Maxwell Kalu. We have two high energy fighters engaging with the musicians who are singing songs of the ancestors. Love it, you can't beat it. We have Bola Bola representing Arawa and we have Aljani Yaya representing House Kurumada. Is our journey just saluting the crowd, taking in the adoration of the fans ahead of this big Dambe fight? And here's Bula Bola doing the same. Big fight, two warriors who are ready to do battle, standing strong on the field of battle. I'm excited. Fun fact, Bola Bola means dustbin, dustbin. Bola means dustbin in Hausa. <laughs> Why Bola Bola would take that name, I do not know. But <laughs> there's some Dambe trivia for you. Aljani means ghost in Hausa. So ghost, yeah, yeah. Demon, ghost, that kind of thing. Let's go round one. So we have the dustbin versus the ghost. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. So both men have just eased into this fight. As you can see, nobody's committing to anything too early. Just taking the opportunity to understand the fighter in front of you. Understand his rhythm. Understand how he approaches a fight. So both men looking very comfortable. Making reads. Looking, you know, small feints, minute feints. Just to really see your opponent's rhythm. Is that that certain point? That's when you can now strike. When you know, when you have him in the right place. When you understand how he moves and when he moves. What he bites to, what he responds to. So both men looking very comfortable, content to start this fight slowly, quietly. Some feints there from Bula Bula. Get ready to see that opening stanza first blood any minute now. Just stalking each other, looking for that opening strike. We have Bula Bull on the inside in the red, Aljani on the outside in the green. Small movements from both men looking for that opening I always say it Danby is like waiting for a bomb to go off and and as I say it they start cracking both men in the clinch swinging punches told you it was going to come you just never know when they go back now to to looking measuring each other concentration on both faces you can see how Johnny's face from this angle Where is that opening coming from? Where's that killer blow coming from? Both men are just thinking. Where's that opportunity going to come from? How do I make my mark on this fight in front of the thousands of people who have gathered here to watch the ancient sport of the sh shield and the spear in action? Both men still stalking each other. I mean, come on, gents. You've had plenty of time to get reads to understand your opponent. Let's see some more action. And with that, Bola Bola comes forward. Nice shot on the chin. Big heavy shot out. Johnny with a big swing back. It seems that both fighters are counter punches, or especially Al Jani. So once Bola Bola opens up, Al Jani responds very quickly and is very excited too. But it just seems that his style was a more counter punching style. And with that, we have the end of round one. So here we just have that moment where they just, that first engagement, both men jumped in, swinging punches, close quarters there, shots from both sides, but nothing huge landed, but it just showed both men are quick and game. Then here we just have both men lining each other up, looking for that opening, looking for the opportunity, the moment to strike and Bola Bola opens up with a great shot to the chin there. Another punch is able to duck over the response from Yaya. 
If you look very closely at that replay, it really shows how good Buda Buda's spatial awareness is. He ducked, he shoulder rolled, and he just moved out of the way. No punch landed. And that was just because very good awareness. So let's go round two. So in this second round, I need to see more action. Don't know about you, but I need to see more action. I want to see both fighters make their mark on this fight, go for this thing, and win this fight. Bola Bola to me looks more dangerous. Oh, and as I say, he lands a big punch, comes forward with another punch or so, body shot. Aljani responds with his own shot. Oh yes, now we're now we're going. We're off to the races now. So just back in this moment now where they're just watching each other, waiting for the opening, looking for the opening. Ajani is definitely a counter puncher. He's waiting for the offense from Bula Bula to come forward from that hill structure his attack. Bula Bula comes forward with another big punch. He's, that punch to the chin he's swinging is money. He's landed it pretty much every single time he throws it. He needs to continue that if he lands that with an... And he lands it again. Oh, look at that. Beautiful movement. Throws the punch with lightning quick speed. Moves his head out of the way before Aljani can respond. Very good from Bula Bula. And that's the thing with Dambi. If you ever have somebody telling you Dambi is not technical, no, it just looks different from MMA, from boxing, from kickboxing, from Muay Thai. Because you've got different tools you're using. In the clinch here. Separated. Bula Bula is keen. He's even manhandling the referee. <laughs> So both men are in this fight. As I was saying, Danby techniques look different. You haven't got two gloves to, um, to, to block. You haven't got takedowns. You don't, you, so really how you strike in Danby, you work with the weapons you have. Head movement is very important. And as I say, Bola Bola has done that very well in this fight. Picking your shots, you don't spray and pray. You can't punch with both hands. So when you punch, you make sure it counts. You swing that punch. You take your target. Both men in the clinch again. So Bola Bola with a big punch again. Didn't quite land. Aljani came forward, put them in the clinch. They're separated again. Both men. Aljani needs to be offensive. He's done absolutely no leading of the dance for me. He's responded to some punches that come his way, but aside from that, he has not started, initiated any fighting. Bula Bula with another punch, with another shot, another shot, another shot. He stumbles out, Jani, another big punch there from Bula Bula, another big punch from Bula Bula. Bula ah, it's like it, just landing punches there. Yeah, the crowd are loving it. It's like Bula Bula, just the battery pack kicked in. Some great offense there from Bola Bola in that second round. So there's that big punch to the side of the head. Lands perfectly. Throws it again. Lands perfectly. Body shot there. Another punch there. Bola Bola has done very well in this first in this second round. Another shot there. I love the way he just whips that punch. Look at that. Whips it. On the chin. And here's where he just goes after Aljani, lands a few punches, sends Aljani stumbling, just goes after him, lands multiple shots. Well done to Aljani for staying on his feet here. Just big punches there in the clinch there, just swarming him. Looking to get him out of there, as you can see, just running after him. Multiple shots landing for Bula Bula there. That must be disheartening for Aljani fight that he hasn't really done much he was then attacked with that speed and viciousness from bola bola he's bola bola just taking some coaching you can see he's fired up let's go third and final round let's see if aljani is able to turn it up able to at least lead some exchanges initiate some fighting in this third and final round Bula Bola equally, let's see if he's able to finish this fight. He got fairly close in the end of that last round. Landed multiple punches very well. 
So let's see what we can do here. African Warriors Fighting Championship. No sport like it. No game like it. It's not a game. It's not a sport. It's a way of life. It's warfare. Both men just watching each other, looking for the openings again. When our journey was, 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 was about to initiate something, looks like he changed his mind halfway through. It must be a mental thing at this point because he's had plenty of opportunities to open up. He's been clipped a few times, so maybe he's scared and very aware of the power that Bula Bula possesses. But come on, man, it, you, it comes to a point when you just have to throw caution to the wind and fight. That's what you're in the arena to do. Bula Bula equally, no action from him yet in this third round. And we know he has the capacity for it as he showed so dangerously at the end of that second round. So we just need more out of both men at the end of this fight. Win this fight, stamp your authority on this fight. But sadly, not every fight is wall-to-wall -wall action. Some styles just don't merge well together. Styles make fights, as they say. Some fighters are just, you know, get out, get out of bed on the wrong side of bed. You're just not in a fighting mood, you know. So both men need to do less jumping and more punching. And with that, both men ex exchange shots in the clinch. Aljani finally leading, some, leading the dance. Too little too late. Both men just circling each other. I'm really not sure what's done it. Is it, is it a respect for, a grudging respect for your opponent? Is it a fear of being knocked out? Is it, as I said, it just, it just happens like that sometimes. Not every fight is a, you know, a barn burner that you want. Both men just, I think they've psyched themselves out a bit. Bula Bula, he has the tools to win this fight quite decisively, I think. And with that, the fight, the fight ends. Bula Bula raises his hand. So here's that time when Aljani just ran forward. Didn't really swing much, just wanted to get in the face of his opponent. Here's him, here he goes again, doesn't land anything. Bula Bula does, you know, quite easily escapes any shots from him. Um, Bula Bula takes the victory. There he is, Bula Bula. Did land some good punches. Not the best victory, but you know, a win is a win.